On August 13th, in the heart of Toronto's financial district, Small Cap Power hosted a Midsummer Cannabis Investor Event. Here's a presentation from Christopher Hussey, Director of Communication at Isodol International. Hi everybody on the webinar, how are you? Say hi. Hi everybody, thanks for hanging in there, I know I'm the last one. Hi, in the cheap seats in the back over there, how you doing? <laughs> My name is Christopher Hussey, I'm the Director of Communications for Isodol. This is our uh, shortened corporate presentation. I am going to flip through this. We're going to see all the slides. But as I do that, I'm actually going to jump around a bit because Isodial is a huge company. Most people who look into Isodial never really understand the depth or breadth of our business. And so my goal in the next 10 minutes, I promise I won't run over, my goal is to get you to simply go, I have to get more information on this company. That's my goal. I'll stay around tonight as long as you want. I'll answer as many questions as you want. Let's take a look at what we got. There we go. So I'm going to skip over that. There we go. This is actually a really great um, explanation, so I'm going to read this first paragraph. Isodal's objective is to become the, the worldwide leader in the development and sales of CBD-based pharmaceuticals, and this is important, and consumer wellness products. I'm going to talk a lot about that in the next few minutes. This mission is to create a cultural movement by building awareness and social acceptance throughout the world. That, that literally encapsulates our company. We believe, and every decision we make is based on the belief that every person in the world should have access to the best quality CBD. That is what we believe, and every decision we make is in furtherance of that belief. The company was founded in 2009. It was acquired, it was taken public. We're now in 2018. I'm gonna point out some things here. And again, I am moving very quickly. I want, I want you at the end to really say, I need more information on this company. We were one of the first, we were the first company to actually bring out a nano amplified skincare line. Here's what I want you to, to imagine. Imagine everything you would wanna to do to your skin to have it be absolutely perfect. Imagine a nano amplified CBD that when you put it on your body over the next eight hours as you work, that CBD is being absorbed through the dermal layer of your skin. We were the first to do that. We have the purest, one of the purest, if not the purest isolate on the planet. And historically, 70% of our revenues are based in bulk distribution of isolate. And I'm going to talk about the way that we do that a little bit. Now that is actually moving a bit right now because the, the market is moving and our focus on the market is moving. So, so you're going to see those revenues shift over the coming year and into two years. I'm going to go through some points here as we progress. I'm hitting the right button. Those are the numbers. Everybody's interested in the numbers, so we put them right up front. Symbol is ISOL, currently 345, 136 million market cap, total issued an outstanding 39 million. Okay, those are the numbers. Okay. I could go through all of these highlights, but I'm only going to highlight a few. As the gentleman said before, and I believe him, he has an incredible company, we have a press release coming out weekly. We had two this previous week, and that's because our mission is to bring CBD to the world. And if you look historically back at what we've done, I believe that we have fulfilled that mission and we continue to do it. We've had 75 million in acquisition over the last fiscal year. 75 million in acquisition in multiple verticals. When you picture Isodile, here's what I want you to think. And I'm going to do a little bit of, of going way down deep on this. But we have, from drop to shelf, a completely owned and verticalized beverage creation and distribution model. What does that mean? Let me give you an example. CBD nano beverage. So a bottle of water with nano CBD. Now, what does that give us? It gives us the ability to bring our own products. It also gives us the ability to do something that we also do very well, which is that gentleman in the back has an idea, wants to bring out a CBD company. He comes and sits in our office, and 120 days later, his brand is created, it's developed, it's produced, and it's on the shelf. We do that historically for companies. We continue to do that today. If you go to a trade show today and there's 100 people selling CBD, 20 of them use our product. Right? Huge company. Signed definitive agreement with Canopy Growth Corporation for Canopy's pot of coffee and pot of tea. That's an interesting. Everybody knows Canopy. Let's talk about pot o coffee. Great name, right? Awesome name. So, hemp and CBD infused gourmet. Who's into coffee? Anybody? Coffee. Coffee people are into coffee. Imagine 
having someone who flies to the beam, goes through the dung and all the, and sniffs it and does the thing, gets the bean, brings it home, loves it and cuddles it and it, that's it's a real th he's shaking it's a real thing, <laughs> loves it and cuddles it and it's gourmet coffee that comes out in K cup for hemp and CBD infused in ground bag and whole bean bag and here's the trick, not just a product, literally right now and this is what Isadal is all about being sold in the normal grocery retail chains today. One of the first, if not the first, we haven't done the research, but one of the first, if not the first, to take CBD and actually retail it alongside the normal product in a normal retail distribution model. That is not the future, that is happening today. We have cold brew coffee. At a trade show, we set up a keg of cold brew coffee the first time people come around, they're like, oh yeah, I'll take one. And then 30 minutes later, they bring out five of their friends to come back and get the second. It is, li I'm not kidding, it is literally that good. I'm gonna go down some more. Brazilian Health Regulatory Agency and Visa approval for Isoderm and Isodialex, enabling both, listen to this, to be prescribed by doctors and neurologists for the treatment of epilepsy and Parkinson's disease. The root of our company, I've been in this space since 2013 with the gentlemen who are running the company. The root of our company is pharma. We currently have an active pharmaceutical ingredient in the UK. For those of you that are, are well versed, you know what that means. If you're doing a clinical study, that's what you're going to use. If you're in trials to create a pharma product, that's what you're going to use. Why is it important that it's in the UK? It's important that it's in the UK because the Commonwealth Agreement allows us to legally, i.e. Canada, export that product from the UK throughout the entire globe. That's why we have it. Active pharmaceutical ingredient in the UK. Acquired 99% of Puridile in Brazil. I'm going to go through a couple here. Organic hemp farming in Nevada. When I talk about Isodile, again, not enough time to go through all of this, but what I want you to understand is seed to shelf and every step in between. Massive company. When the state of California legalized the growing of industrial hemp, everything we do is industrial hemp CBD. When the state of California legalized the growing of industrial hemp, not only were we part of the movement to get that legalization done, but 24 hours later, we were the first people in 40 years to plant industrial hemp in California. You can go on our Facebook page and actually see the photographs of that hemp growing today. Announced partnership with Europe's leading MMA promoter Cage Warriors through its brand Isosport. I'm going to talk about Isosport a little bit more. Let me keep going here. I want a couple I want to point out. Completed the acquisition to acquire 100% of leading specialty vape retailer Cure. Rather than read it, I'm going to give you a visual. Imagine Starbucks, only different. Imagine that you walk in and there is a curista, not a barista. And behind the curista is over 200 flavors of vape liquid. And you say to that curista, I would like a little mango, some apple pie, and throw in some strawberry shortcake and a 25% solution based in MCT oil. And that curista mixes it in real time in your device and passes it across the table to you and you sit down with the Wi-Fi with something to eat and something to drink, i.e. CBD beverage and coffee, and you have your fresh, made for you CBD vape. Now, that is not the future. We acquired seven more stores last week in Phoenix, Arizona. It is not the future, it's in place now. It has revenues now. And we have an actual cure pod which is a built facility that you literally put on the back of a truck, take it to anywhere, drop it off on the truck, and 24 hours later, it is ringing the cash register. Not the future, actually being implemented today. Isodial is in every piece of the CBD vertical. Consolidated shares 10 to 1, that got us to 345, and we are in active pursuit right now of an uplist to a major market. We're gonna keep going. I'm talking fast because there's a lot. Let's get to some products. ISO 99. We say that it's the best CBD. As the gentleman pointed out, everybody says it's the best. It's 99.5% pure, THC-free, crystalline isolate CBD. We were the first. We still do it today. Again, historically 70% of our margins and that's shifting because of our focus on retail. Let's keep going. Crystal, oil, 
CBD and terpenes, CBD for topical, CBD for beverage. Not only do we provide this for our own products, not only do we provide that for this gentleman's products when he comes in and says, what product lines can you make for me? But we also supply that to the entire world. Again, if you go to a trade show, people aren't going to tell you where they're getting their stuff, but they're getting it from us. This is our rapid patch. This is our rapid cooling cream. Here's what I want you to imagine. Our goal is the retail barrier. I cannot express to you, again, legally, the conversations we're happening, but our goal is the retail barrier. Those are the conversations that we're having every day. We've already broken it with several of our products, and we are continuing to break that retail barrier. It's not about dispensaries. It's not about the 10% of the population that are cannabis aware. It's about the 90% of the population that are finding out about CBD and wondering how they get it. It's not about tinctures, right? It's about shampoo. It's not about pills, it's about creams. It's not about what goes in a dispensary, it's about what goes in Walgreens, and that's the future, and that's isodile. So imagine that cream right now in Walgreens. Imagine a year from now, rapid cream right next to that cream in the retail store. Isoderm, this is arguably, and again, you're coming from a guy who's promoting isodile, the best CBD product on the marketplace today, and I'm gonna tell you why. That gentleman right there, Dr. Ronald Ong Din, it's called Direct Effects Technology. Dr. Ron, as we call him, he would never touch cannabis. He was absolutely anti-cannabis. Through a number of different things that happened within, within his space and his patients, he decided, I'm going to give this a trial. Today, not only is it the major focus of his practice, but he literally travels the world talking about how cannabis affects and makes people better. He's one of the converts in the medical community that has now went from not using to not only using, but being an evangelist. This product, Isoderm, has eight worldwide patents. Eight worldwide patents. What it does very succinctly is right here on the back of the neck, that's where you put the product. There's 2,500 milligrams in the bottle. Basically, depending on the dose is what you get. When you put it on the back of your neck, the effects are immediate and there's no interaction with the blood. For, for a medical professional, any medical professionals in the room, that is huge. It means less drug-to-drug -drug interactions, faster interactivity, less side effects, all of that. That's Isoderm. These are some of our consumer products. Obviously, we have a house brand. Let me tell you about Isosport. Isosport is not simply the repackaging of a delivery of products because we understand that we could repackage it and sell it to someone, but what's important is does it do what it's intended to do for that lifestyle? Let me give you an example. We understand and we believe that a person should have CBD in their body 24-7. It's not something you take once in a while, it's something that you live with and we firmly believe that 10 years from now everyone in the world will know that. That's this product. You're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to go to the gym and you're going to have water. And if you don't use this water, you're going to have your own water. So instead of having ours, why don't you have a dropper in your bag so that whatever water, you put the CBD right in and it just goes in your gym bag. Now before you do that first lift, you're going to take the guard. Why? Because it's going to give you focus and you're going to be able to focus more on getting what you want out of your workout. And then afterward, you're going to be sore and the discomfort is going to be alleviated by men. So it's not a repackaging of product, it's a system created with the intent and specificity to serve the active lifestyle. So we don't just put out products, we create a market and serve that market in the way that CBD best serves the market, and we bring those products to bear. One more thing on Isodile, yesterday we created the very first CBD vending machine. And we are currently in the space talking to, and I can't give it away, it's a huge thing, Imagine being able to walk into a gym anywhere in America, anywhere in Canada, swipe your credit card, and out the bottom drops your CBD so you can walk into your workout. That was dropped yesterday. This is pot of coffee. Pot of coffee, premium blends of coffee, tea, and hot cocoa. I left out the tea and hot cocoa. Coffee, tea, hot cocoa, hemp infused, CBD infused, K-cup, ground, and whole bean. Canaceuticals was the very first luxury skincare brand that specializes in anti-aging formulas using micro-encapsulated bioactive CBD. Right? This is isodile. Aquavita, that's water. A fully verticalized beverage 
creation, meaning from the drop to the shelf. If you came in, Bob, if Bob came in and said, I want to launch a water brand, we would go, Bob, what do you want to call your water brand? We'd figure out a name, we'd create the entire line, and we can do 54 million bottles a month, and we own the entire vertical. Pot of coffee, exogen. Doctors don't want to tell their patients to go to a dispensary. Doctors don't want to tell their patients to go to Amazon. So we have a very specific formulation and a very specific implementation for doctors only. You have to actually be a medical professional to use the line. You have to be a medical professional to sell the line. And the line cannot be gotten or received without it being moved to you by a medical professional. CBD Extreme, Canaceuticals. The list goes on. Our leadership team, Marcos Agramont, Aman Parmar, Brian Lori, Dr. Ronald Amdin. I will send you this presentation so you can actually read it in full if you like. Just give me your card. <clears throat> Mike Parmar, that's the guy you want to talk to. He's actually really, really nice, you guys. So if you want anything, call Mike. That's actually the phone number, Mike Parmar at Isodile or IR at Isodile for any investor-related questions. And that's Isadal International. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Any questions? Um, I'm going to start with a webinar question. It's, it's a two-part question. Two parts. Uh, are any of Isadal's products selling internationally? That's one. And two is, after October 17th, can we find Isadal's product at Shoppers? In Canada. In, in Canada. Here in Canada. Yeah. So two very distinct questions. So number one. Isodial's products are available on multiple continents. Obviously in North America, we have, as I said in the presentation, products in South America, specifically in Brazil and Uruguay. Mm -hmm. We have a full contingent, a full business unit that operates and sells both online and physically throughout Europe based in the UK, right? So principally, UK, United States, Canada to some degree, and I'll talk about that in a second, and then into South America. Mm -hmm. So Canada's a little harder. Canada's got a lot going on right now. So let me back up to our API, to our active pharmaceutical ingredient. The active pharmaceutical ingredient is in the UK. Right? It's the purest CBD you can buy today. If you're doing a clinical study, if you're creating a pharma pro product, that's what you're going to start with. Because of Commonwealth rules, Canada is within that that uh, export rules. We have LDs and relationships with LDs in Canada currently, and that product gets moved into Canada legally in that way and through those relationships. About six months ago, if you're following our historical reports, you're going to remember CN Pharma, the CN Pharma acquisition. We own 100% of CN Pharma. They are currently in the process with Health Canada, that process should be approved within the next 30 to 60 days. And then based upon that approval, products will be moved into Canada and through Canada in all avenues possible through CN Farm. Amazing. Thanks. Great question. Anybody else? Just yes, sir. piece that you uh, slid on the back of your neck, what's it used for? Um, so it's used primarily for discomfort. That's the only legal thing I can say is discomfort. <laughs> Um, the goal of Isoderm and the Derma technology, the goal is, let me, back, let me back up before I say the goal. When you take CBD, everyone who's actually been in the space for any length of time, I'm not going to get medical, I'm going to talk all the way around medical here. Anyone who's been in the space for any length of time understands that when you ingest something, it must go through the digestive system and it interacts with the whole body. Two things happen. One, drug to drug interactions, side effects based upon volume, and you actually lose the volume as it goes through because most of the absorption happens in the intestine. We, Isodial, as well as the medical community, would prefer for you to take less milligrams to get a greater effect. Now, in order to do that, you have to find a delivery system that gets to the root of the problem without being diluted through the digestive system, without having the side effects, without having the drug-to-drug -drug interactions. That's Bonath. That's the back of the neck. Because when it goes on the back of the neck, again, not medicinal, I am not a doctor, so go online, talk to Dr. Ron. As you are a growing fetus, as you are a developing child, there is a huge network of nerve endings and that protects the base of the skull. They are still there as an adult. 
So when you apply the material here, again, eight patents on this application, when you apply the material here, it interacts with those nerve endings. It goes right into the central nervous system rather than going through the blood and into the central nervous system. So that's the basis. Faster activity, less drug to drug interactions, less side effects. Not a medical profession. <laughs> Great question. Anyone else? The pot of coffee, et cetera, is that currently on, on sale? Oh, store? yeah. Can I buy it? I can send you some. No, can I buy it at my local so, laws across Canada? Or so I wish. I absolutely wish. I think someday, yes. The main focus for pot of coffee at the moment is growing the network and the distribution in South Florida. That was the starter market. That is where it's physically produced. So we can be very close to that product in case there are issues, which there aren't. And so you're gonna, if you, if you hop on a plane, hop down to Miami, take in some sun, go over and buy some pot of coffee in the grocery store. Is it Publix? Um, I believe it is Publix, actually. Yeah, Publix. Yeah, no, we have, I wanna be super clear here, guys. I'm not, I'm not trying to, to, to impress upon you that we're bigger than we are. We're pretty big and we have broken the natural retail barrier for CBD that other companies simply haven't done. We have broken that barrier. Kroger really big, what were your 2017 sales? I do not have that number, but we do have a recent financial statement on our website. Okay. Yeah. And it's positive and it's really good. The uh, shampoos or creams potential as to when that big broad product line might be available? Not vague, not broad. We do have creams available now. We do have that full skincare available now selling great. People love it. Um, from a shampoo perspective, uh, uh, we, we're, we're dancing down that aisle, but I'm gonna give you a perspective, right? I don't think the delivery of the market is shampoo and conditioner, and I'm gonna tell you why. Oh, see, she's shaking her head already. She's like, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna tell you what I would do. I'm not gonna speak on behalf of Isadal, but I will tell you what I would do. Instead of trying to come out with a line of shampoo and conditioner to meet every woman's needs, I would find a product, uh, let me see, a hair mask that women are already familiar with, right? And I would create that product that is an adjunct product to the shampoo and conditioner she is already using so that CBD becomes a bolt-on, not a complete category. That way you can penetrate the market without trying to upset the current apple cart. Just my opinion. And the portion in uh, California, there still seems to be a debate with regard to CBD is or is not, it can't be distributed all of a sudden. Good question. Great question. How is that? We actually, to? this week, we actually uh, decided not to participate in a couple of trade shows based upon the literally day to day ramifications of what's happening in California. Uh, we do distribute still in California. There are only four places in the United States that we do not deliver to daily. Right? Sometimes those things change per zip code. Again, we are, we are members, we are founding members of the US Hemp Roundtable. We are active in legislation. We are on the cusp of not only legislation, but also technology. And so we monitor that and we make those decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. And as it progresses, as we both know, it will be fully legal. There will not be issues in the very near future. And we'll just operate accordingly as that, as that develops. And the source of the actual uh, oil itself is grown in North America or We have Europe multiple, or? multiple locations based upon the type of oil that's being generated. We have Colorado. As the gentleman said in the introduction, we have a very large implementation in China at, at multiple locations as well as California. And are these uh, sorry, company owned farms or just farmers that are dedicated? Company owned. Yes. So, and do you end up growing custom seed? It's so almost like uh, THC, we end up saying, wow, our, our seed produces 18% oil versus the other That's guys. a good question. Oh. So our goal is to obviously maximize yield based upon retail value. And so that part of our company actually acquiring, if you look back in, into our uh, press releases, acquiring Farmteva, the company Farmteva, acquiring and growing our implementation in China, that is a, an emerging part of our company. And the goal is to, based upon the need, and, and in the presentation you saw, there's isolate, there's oil, there's nano, there's full spectrum oil. So based upon that product and how that product relates to the retail economy, those are the, that's how we make the decisions on, on exactly what we're growing. And the 75 million of acquisitions, cash, stock, some of each, how does that occur? Both. It's, a, it's, it's both cash and stock, depending on the deal. All up front or any earnouts in them, or would they start to? All ramifications, multiple structures. 
Good questions. Thank you. Anything else from the web? Check your web, John. No. If you have a card, if you want, uh, Mike's number is here. Let me go backwards. That's Mike. Mike, uh, Mike have, is IR. Right. If you need anything, there's Mike. Sounds good. I think they have some questions related to your affiliate retail seller program. Okay. So I'm just gonna. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna like direct them all to Mike. Do we have an affiliate program? Yes. Can you be an affiliate of Isodile? Yes. All of our products are not included in the affiliate program. It started as a test. It went very, very well. We've added more products and our goal is to add all of our 100 plus SKUs in 30 different categories. That is emerging now. Not a network marketing association. It is an affiliate right. association specifically. Uh, all right, last question. Will Accidental pursue utilizing the hops plan for CBD extracts? That is such a great question. Oh, as some of you know, we did bring out the very first hops extracted CBD in the last year. Now at the point from a legal perspective that we brought out that product, we spent a lot of money acquiring that IP and developing that product. We actually brought a product to market that sold incredibly well. At the point that we brought out that product, the legalization was going a very different direction. And so the question in our minds was, could we open a new category that was separate from cannabis that had less legal ramification? You can kind of think through that. Well, the legal landscape has changed dramatically since that point, and that product and that development has been sunset, and our goal at, at current, we do not have plans to bring that product into the future based upon where cannabis is today. To learn more about ISIL International, be sure to check us out at smallcappower.com. Thanks for watching.